Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be doing the video all about skincare. So this is probably one of my most asked um, questions is what type of skincare I use. Um, if you watched my favourites video in November I posted a video all about uh, the skincare I bought from L'Occitane. Now I do love that brand, I still use it, I tend to still use it more in the evening. But I had a few questions about what type of um, skincare I would use during the day. And I do tend to use the more cheaper products during the day than I do at night. Only because I wear a lot of um, the makeup sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I wear makeup and I would prefer to put a little bit cheaper um, products underneath rather than putting them more expensive. Um, but that's just the way I am, you know. So um, I've got a few um, products that I have been using. I have been using most of this stuff since towards the end of last year because I never used to really use anything. I used to wash my face with facial wash and that's about it. Moisturiser, I never really moisturised. I never used eye creams, never used serums or oils or anything like that, which you think is quite bad. But the um, only reason why I got um, really addicted to skincare is because my face. I was never happy with the way my makeup um, looked. You know, it never looked nice, it never sat properly, it looked really cakey and dry. And I was thinking, you know, I'm definitely doing something wrong. So I decided to go and invest in some money in a skincare. All this skincare you could get in Boots and Super Drugs, they're not expensive. Um, I tend to buy most of the e products when it's uh, some sort of promotion or sale, things like that. So I never buy any of this stuff in full So the first price. thing I want to talk about is the Neutrogena Pink Grapefruit Daily Scrub. I have been using this for years. I've used different types of Neutrogena products and I've used all different ranges of um, facial washes. And this is the only one that seems to agree with my skin. It's a daily scrub, so this is actually really good for like daily use. I know your um, scrub's probably not the best to be using on a daily um, basis, but this one's a daily one and it is definitely the best, I think. It helps eliminate spots and blemishes and um, I haven't really suffered with um, spots, to be quite honest. I do get them on an odd occasion here and there, but um, I don't really suffer with any of them anymore. I used to, as a teenager, used to be so bad. I used to get a lot around my forehead and always used to be um, the worst on one of the sides of the cheeks as well. But I think, you know, we all do go through that stage growing up. But this is the best one I have used. And I have used the facial wash um, as well, but I do still prefer the daily scrub. So this is what I would do to remove all my makeup. Um, I use this twice a day, so morning and evening as well. So after using the Neutrogena Daily Scrub, I would use the Garnier Cleansing Water. This is absolutely amazing. I used to use a Body Shop, I actually don't remember the name. It was something with Body Shop with cucumber water or something like that. And it is quite expensive on the most expensive side. So when I heard um, one of the YouTubers talking about this one, I decided to give this one a go once I finished the body shop one and it does the same thing it's amazing you know it removes all the makeup um, if you are lazy you know you just remove the makeup with this if you didn't want to wash your face but I like to wash my face and then go over with this to remove any excess makeup left on the, on my face I do have sensitive skin I've had no problems with it definitely keep using this one and I won't be going back to body shop because it is a lot cheaper and the amount of you get in this bottle normally it's about I think it's around five pound more but you can get it on um, sale for about three pounds so just keep your eye out for those but yeah it's definitely a lot cheaper you get a lot more better in there and it removes all makeup it doesn't say anything about removing any waterproof makeup you can use this on face eyes and lips as well and it's got no perfume definitely amazing and um have been using it since oh end of last year and i do love so this i've washed my face and i've cleansed i would use the um traditional skincare glycerin and rose water um toning and toner and moisturizer i absolutely love this this is the second bottle i've gone through and as you can see i've 
almost out again so I have to go and buy some but this is amazing rose water is really good for your skin um, especially if I haven't got, had any makeup and I wash my face with the Neutrogena facial wash my face tends to get really dry to nightmare but what I do straight after is I this um, what I do is I pop a few drops onto a cotton pad and I just dabbed it all over my face and it adds moisture straight away um, it's absolutely amazing I've been using this bit since last year beginning of last year because I've read so much good things about rose water being really good for your skin. So I have been using this um, toner. I have used other different toners, but this one definitely seems to be the better one for me. You can get this for about £3 in boots as well. Um, but yeah, definitely the best toner I have used so far. After toning, I like to use a serum, and I use the L'Oreal Age Perfect um, Serum. They have two different designs. They have like a pink version for like the younger skin, and then they have um, this one for the mature skin. I like, pre personally prefer the mature skin version, only because we start aging from the age of 25, and um, because I have combination skin, sometimes I'm very oily, sometimes I could be dry. Um, this seems to be absolutely perfect for me and um, because we age as I said we age from the age of 25 the earlier you start the better because once all the wrinkles appear once all the imperfections appear they're hard you won't be able to get rid of them they'll be harder to obviously get rid of so it's always better to start using these at an early stage so this is a serum and the serum looks just like this you get a nice little pump and you just pump it out like that. Um, I use this in the morning and also in the evening. It adds moisture, it's so nice. It doesn't take a long time to absorb in the face, which I really like, because I hate when you put something on and then you have to wait two, three minutes to put another thing on, and I'm not like that. I want to just get it on, and then that's it. Especially at night time, you know, I want to go to bed. I don't want to sit there and wait for half an hour for something to dry. But it's amazing, it's a really lovely, um, as I said, I do have sensitive skin, but I um, seems to be just fine with that one. I've used the serum. The next step I would go for is the Age Perfecting Facial Oil. And I absolutely love this stuff. I absolutely love oils. Now you think, okay, you know, I've got oily skin. I normally could tend to get really oily around my nose. This is definitely the best thing I've used. I absolutely love facial oils. It's because I like... I like to add a little bit more moisture as well. A few drops goes a long way, so you don't need a lot. Another good thing about this is you can actually apply a few drops on your cheekbones for a daily, like a, if you was to go out and um, go out, you just apply a few drops onto your cheekbones and it'll give you like a nice, natural, healthy glow. So if you're not wearing any makeup, you know, and you just wanna go out bare face, just to go out, this is a nice little tip, just to put a few on your cheekbones. So this is the same packaging as the serum, just a few drops to apply. I use this morning and night as well. Um, I have tried using creams without this, and it's a no, I have to have this in my life. That's the facial oil by L'Oreal. So once I've done all of that, I like to take uh, real good care of my eyes. I do suffer with uh, dark circles, as most of us do anyway. Um, I do get creasing underneath the eyes as well. So it's really important if you're using concealers and you get real creasing underneath the eyes, um, it's so important to keep your eyes moisturized. The younger sort of skin I was talking about, obviously the age perfect is for mature skin. So this is the eye perfecting um, eye cream and it's really good for awakening, correcting, um, correcting any sort of imperfections around the eye. So it does moisturize. Also, it's got a slight tint in there, not too overpowering. So, you know, if you want to go out and no makeup on, just natural this is really good because it won't sort of like um cover up where you look, look completely different within your sort of um skin tone so you won't have like a really dark tinted eyes because you've applied this but it's really light and it's really nice especially um if you suffer with dark circles and you don't like to wear makeup, this is really, really good. I normally use this to go to the gym because I do suffer with not such bad dark circles. The more I've started to use the um, skincare, my dark circles have slowly faded down so they're not so dark and in your face. Definitely a good eye cream to have. Now for moisturizer, 
I have used quite a lot of different moisturizers. As I said, I use the uh, Neutrogena um, face cream, which is really good anyway, but it's for more for normal type of skin tones. Even though I loved it, but I just felt like it wasn't giving me the hydration I wanted. Um, I love hydration, that's why I use oils and I use different things as well, because I like, in a, in a way it sounds quite uh, like in the night I prefer when my skin is really greasy and oily and that's just me everybody's different but I like having that sort of um oily sort of skin because I feel like that sort of um giving me more hydration I wouldn't <laughs> You'd normally do this during the day, um, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't even do this during the day. But during the night it's different, you know, I've got, I'm going straight to bed. And our skin tends to work a lot more during the night as well. But during the day, I've only recently got this. It's the L'Oreal Age Perfecting um, Nourishing Oil Cream. So this is actually a face cream, but actually has oil in there. This is a morning and a night cream as well, but they do have separate, so if you don't want the um, uh, oil cream, which has got oil in it, they do a normal face cream for night and um, morning as well. But I saw this and I actually really liked it. Now the first thing you would do is if you was to think of cheaper skincare, you think, oh God, I've got to use double the amount because it's cheaper, you know, the uh, more expensive goes a little bit goes a long way. But actually, because this has got oil in it, it does. A little bit goes an absolute long way. I normally just um, dip my finger in and then use whatever's on there and then just apply it all over the face and neck. So let me just show you. This is what the face cream looks like. So this is what it looks like. You get a nice little cap as well that takes off like that. And I have been using, I don't even know if you guys can tell. That is still really full. And I have been using this for well over two months, I think. So definitely does last. Normally, cheaper products, oh my God, about two, three weeks. And I'm out there getting more because, you know, I've used it up. But it's definitely an amazing product. I absolutely love it. If you're not into um, using serums and if you're not into using facial oils, that is definitely a really, really good for, uh, moisturizer to use at night. It's non-greasy as well. That's the, the surprising thing because it's got oil in there. It's non-greasy. It doesn't leave like a really greasy texture on my face. It doesn't do that. Even if I use this, um, the oil before the face cream, I use both. So I'll still apply this one before I do this one. And my skin doesn't look oily whatsoever. It's really nice and moisturized. It's nourishing, brightening and anti-aging as well. So I absolutely love this and it's definitely a my go-to face cream from the um, drugstore so not forgetting about the lips we've done eyes we've done face as well so the next thing I like to do is take care of your lips it is so important to take care of your lips I'm the type of person the more I talk my um, lips get really dry and I absolutely hate dry lips uh, especially if you're wearing lipstick um, it's you know your lips you want to make them look really nice and moisturized um the last thing you want to do is walk around with like chaps lips and you know they're broken and cracked and things like that it's not it's just not a pretty sight so to um keep my lips nice and moisturized and hydrated i, I do two steps the first thing even though this is not from the drugstore but i haven't used anything from the i haven't seen or used anything from drugstore because I don't think they even do them but um, it's still quite on a cheaper side anyway um, it's the Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub now I absolutely love this it is probably the best thing I've used the smell it just smells like oh it smells like oh my god I don't even know what it smells like it's so, it smells so sweet the name of it is My Boy Lollipop I absolutely love this and you can actually eat this as well so they're edible so you don't have to worry about getting it into your mouth whatsoever so what you do is just take a little bit and give it a good rub all around your lips which is absolutely amazing because the last the, the end part is the best part is when you get to lick it off and eat it but it's definitely the best um it costs around five pounds um they do other ones they do like i think they do like peppermint and they also to popcorn i'm not 100 percent sure but i know i've recently gone in there and they've actually done a valentine's day um version something with prince charming or something like that but yeah definitely the best lip scrub out there um it is not from the drugstore but five pounds you know you can't go wrong and 
I've bought this, oh my god, last year in June. And as you can tell, I still got loads. If you do not want to buy this um, and you wanted something that's really good at home, I would uh, recommend using normal sugar and mixing a bit of honey in there. And just using a mix up, mix it all up into like a, almost like a thick, not thick, but almost like a loose texture, and exfoliate your lips just like that. It's just as good, but obviously I prefer this one. Maybelline came out with the baby lips, and I've got most of them anyway, and um, I absolutely love them. The only problem is, is I like my lips to be really moisturised, so I want to be able to rub my lips together and feel that the actual lip, st lip seal actually on there and it's moisturising. And with the baby lips, I find that it wasn't really the the sort of after effect I was getting. The only one that I would recommend that's actually just as good would be this one right here. It's the blue one, it smells like coconuts. I don't even know, it doesn't. Oh, it's the hydrate one. That is just as good and I do like it and I prefer that over any of the other ones I have. Yeah, this is probably the only best one that I like. But recently I've got into um, using another brand only because my husband, my husband doesn't actually leave the house without a lip seal in his pocket. So um, he uses this one right here, which is the Nivea Essential Care Lip Balm and he absolutely gets angry if he leaves the house without it or if it gets lost he gets absolutely crazy so he buys these to the point where um i thought you know what if he's so crazy about this i'm gonna try it and i'll tell you what hands down it's probably the best chapstick or pop a little bit on and you feel like your lips are nice and moisturized uh, you wake up with really nice soft lips as well to a point where i'm addicted now i've got like three or four different backups um the cheapest one at the moment you could go into, normally they cost about a pound, they have different colours as well um, that cost slightly more but I prefer this one. Uh, but you can um, buy this normally about a pound but I got them for 95 pence from Wilkinson's. But yeah definitely the best lip seal, lip balm, what you want to call it so far. So that's the end of my skincare uh, routine video. Um, as I like to say, if you do purchase any of these uh, products, you know, th just because it works for me doesn't mean it will work for you. All of us have different types of skin tones, different type of skin types as well. So, you know, give it a try, see what works for you. This is personally the products that I've used and uh, what definitely works for me and um, definitely the best I've used so far. Another thing just before we go um, is your skin will get bad before it gets better if you know what I mean. A normal skin type, you know, I wasn't ever suffering from any blemishes or blackheads or anything like that. Once I was starting to use the skincare products, um, I did break out a lot, um, you know, and it was a bit of a nightmare and I thought, oh my god, I'm actually better off not actually using this stuff because my skin was better off but then I thought you know what actually I'm going to stick to this and within about two weeks it all actually went and now the shockingly enough if I don't use any of this stuff I break out so um, I can't leave the house without actually doing all this stuff so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I give you a bit of an insight of the products that I use so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did like it, then please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye.